Hi there, it's Cheyenne and today I'm going to be sharing on how I spend less than 5 hours a week managing my first Airbnb property and how you can manage and automate your Airbnb property as well. So I'm going to be talking about the different softwares and tools I use and tips and advice from my experience because it's been about 4 months since my Airbnb went live and I got the hang of things. So I'm going to be sharing all my experience and my tips. So let's get into it. First thing is having smart devices. And what I mean by smart devices is your ring camera and smart lock. So the ring camera is really helpful. It's just to know that your guest is there, that they arrive and you can see how many people are there so for example if you can see easily right away if your guest is trying to throw a party if instead of having three people they have like 10 people there so it's just good for like a surveillance and a security check and a smart lock this is like a priority like you you really need a smart lock because you don't want to go the old-fashioned route having a lock box because most of the times those keys that you give your guests they could go missing and it's just such a hassle of like replacing key like replacing those keys especially if you don't live very close to your airbnb and another thing is like just having a smart lock and just having like a ring camera you don't have to be physically there as well everything is automated and the smart lock i use is the august home and i really like it because there's unlimited code generation for that and it integrates with airbnb so every time my guest books a place sends a code automatically to my guest it actually gives them access to when they are staying in my airbnb so i manually don't have to do that like i don't it just integrates very easily and it just give the access whenever they're staying at my place this is how you're going to add them automate those check-ins and it's going to be super simple and easy as possible please a pricing software is the best investment you can make for your airbnb uh, well first thing is photography but second is a pricing software because you do not want to rely on the airbnb algorithm like pricing algorithm you think that you can outsmart a pricing algorithm and i promise you you cannot because this uh pricing software they take all the different data from all different airbnb hosts and of all the different airbnb properties in that area and they find the best price for you and they also can know they also also know if there's like an event or that is like high seasonality or especially that weekend the pricing the algorithm is gonna know and the pricing software that I use is price labs so there's a couple pricing softwares out there there's wheelhouse and price Labs, but i personally use price lab pricing software is going to give you more control of your pricing because airbnb is not going to give you that and and also it's going to help you stay competitive in that market too so you're not pricing it so high you're not pricing it too low so some of the things i like about price lab is that like i mentioned you have more control of your prices this is what it would look like this is what it looks like this is the dashboard and on the left hand side you have the minimum the base and the maximum so the minimum what it says even with all your discount it will not go lower than this price and this is the base this is like the median of your price and the maximum so this is like you like it will not go over that price range so my maximum is 320 so right on the left hand side you have this customization and this is really nice because airbnb doesn't give you all that customization i think the only thing that airbnb from my understanding the only thing that airbnb offers is that early bird discounts or like early like last minute discounts and i really feel with price labs you have like more control and i think the most important thing about price Labs is that you're able to actually control during the weekdays and a lot of times um from my experience that my weekends are always booked but not my week my weekdays and i have honestly been playing around with the pricing and so far i have been booked during the weekdays too um in the fall so if we take a look um we have the last minute prices i set my last minute prices in airbnb 
and then I also have the orphan day prices this is when you have like those days in between and my favorite is actually that I've been playing and using a lot is actually the day of a week pricing adjustments so as you can see on like Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday I just adjusted to like like 25% lower and honestly I, I don't honestly so far it's been good but we're gonna see how it goes um, but that is like one of my favorite thing about price labs of setting this weekdays adjustment and also you have your stay restrict uh, stay restriction um, as well seasonal and minimal prices so for this one I'm able to adjust for um, my minimum for anything that is like ahead um, any anything for we did know the first person and then there's like a vast customization but honestly what I really use about this is what I've been loving is just the weak pricing adjustments that is and there's a lot that you can do as well and I'm just gonna say that sometimes price labs set the price a little bit too much so what I like to do is that sometimes I'll go from like let's say the 18th to the 19th so whatever the prices they recommend me let's say to 23rd I like to sometimes make it lower so I can just do like oh negative 25% of that but I yeah that's that's the one thing that I use but like I mentioned um, price lab is a really great way for you to have control of your pricing and just to stay competitive as well because um, I do find that I spend honestly during my whole amount of time I do spend uh, most of my time on the pricing a third thing I want to mention is to please get a messaging software and honestly from my experience I thought that I could like handle all the messaging and I was like oh, I only have one Airbnb property it's like totally fine I can like message all my guests yeah I did not keep track of messaging and sometimes I forget about it and yeah and I was just trying to I was just trying to be cheap and I was like ah, oh, I can do this all myself no like it's gonna save you a lot of time and I promise you you're not gonna keep up when especially when you have like five bookings and you have to like message them on like a certain time so get us a messaging software and these are like the messaging times that I'm just I want you guys to know and keep in mind is that you know you have a messaging for new reservation you have a messaging for check-in instructions for 24 hours before checking and another message for like the first morning China checking in what they're doing and also a, a message for a checkout instruction and another message for you know uh, asking your guests like hopefully hopefully this day hopefully your time here was has been amazing please give us a five-star review but there is a caveat to this even though you are automating your messages but still be very aware when you are messaging your guests because a lot of the time the messaging software if a guest be like oh um can you tell me where the iron is or do you have any do you have any plates and any forks and knives and the messaging software is not smart enough to pick that so just be aware that it's not going to handle all like all your communication with your guests so you have to be on your toes and make sure you respond to that and sometimes i'm not going um i'm gonna be honest sometimes i do forget about those messages so i just want you guys to remember to even though you automate this do not be lazy stay on your toes too okay there is a lot of messaging softwares out there there's like igms guesty i use hospital hospitable hospitable looks like um you have your inbox on the left hand side your properties calendar guest experience but most of them is your guest experience and this is where you have your on the left hand, left hand side your messaging rules so the messaging rules i use is um, a new reservation so this is what it would look like um, you know, it's just like, thank you for booking at a stay at our cabin. Your reservation starts on this day and this night with the, uh, for X, Y, and Z nights and with this number of guests confirmed. And I usually like to send this out just because sometimes forget or like sometimes they put the incorrect guests 
and the reason why this is very important is because based on how i list my airbnb i charge more after like the second guess because i yeah after the second guess and i just want to make sure that they have the correct amount of guests there and so i can let my cleaners too know so that is on the left hand side this is all the messaging rules and it's really easy and then this is where you review the rules um and so when you go to the messaging rules i'm just gonna give for example new reservation um on this this is a little message you have and this is has the timing so the timing is the when the booking was accepted so the moment when someone uh when the moment when a guest accepts that booking this message this message is sent right away and also i connect this to my of course my airbnb and verb account and then you have like a check-in instructions and this gives you the sending time too if i were to make a new messaging i can add a new one and so this is what happens when you add a new message you can add uh, a request to book a reservation new cancellation so you can actually really really customize this you can like make a lot of rules you can m have one when someone request a cancellation you can have one when you if you want to do a special offer but i just kept it really simple and this is where you can like play around be creative but like i said um i just keep it as in check in check out um check in check out instruction new reservation booking and uh check in and also a uh, five star review um also um an after message as well so yeah you can go crazy go wild with this i hope this video was helpful i hope that this helped you understand how to automate and manage your airbnb um, sometimes people think it's like oh how do you do this like you're probably spending so much time no honestly like once your airbnb is up and running and is live it requires literally no like very little amount of time and effort like you are really earning money passively i wish you nothing for the best and success for your airbnb property if you like this video please comment and like and subscribe and tell me about your airbnb what are your goals like what do you want to do with airbnb and like if you are hosting right now what are some pricing tools and messaging softwares you use i really would like to know and until next time bye bye